Yo guys, Insane Gamer 52 here, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Nail in the Coffin Tier 5 Legion mission in DMZ. Alright, so to complete this mission, you have to park a vehicle at all four gas stations in Zarqua Hydroelectric, plant a charge at all of the gas stations with a parked vehicle, then climb to the top of the Zarqua radio tower and detonate the bombs. This is an extremely difficult mission, and rightfully so, since it is the final Tier 5 mission for the Legion faction. Thankfully, there are a couple things you can do to make it much easier. It is worth noting that the weapon case can be at Zarqua Hydroelectric. If it's there in your game, then you may want to wait until another game since there will be more enemies, a juggernaut, and a higher chance of players interfering. It is doable when this is a weapon case area, but it's going to be much more difficult. Alright, first off, here are all four locations of the gas stations in Zarqua Hydroelectric. These three are pretty easy and shouldn't pose much difficulty just parking a car and planting the bombs. But this last one on the island can be an absolute pain if you don't have a good plan. The order that I recommend doing this in is starting at the one on the island, then going to the one on the south, then the one to the east, and finish with the one on the north since it's right next to the radio tower. Okay, so the first thing you need to do when you spawn in is find the nearest vehicle. After that, you should look for the nearest boat to the south of Zarqua. The reason we're looking south is because you can get a boat to the island gas station without very much trouble if you come from down the river. You can get a car there, but it's very difficult to kill all the enemies and navigate it through the island to park it at the gas station. And if you get a boat from the north, you will end up getting the attention of all enemies in Zarqua, which will make this much tougher. Once you find your boat, drive up the river and stop right before this bridge. You want to clear out all the enemies around the pump before actually driving the boat there so that you don't go down and the boat doesn't get destroyed. Once the coast is clear, drive the boat up and hop out when you hear the ding and it starts refueling. This is the requirement for what counts as a parked vehicle at each gas station, so make sure you go close enough to the pumps to actually trigger the fueling and repairs. There is a slight current here, so it's best to just run your boat ashore so it's guaranteed to stay there. Now run up to either of the gas pumps and interact with them to plant the bomb. Once you do that, start looking for the closest vehicle to the southern gas station. The rest of these gas stations shouldn't be that bad, but getting an LTV, armor truck, or cargo truck wouldn't hurt since they will survive the most damage before getting destroyed. This gas station is usually pretty empty, but you may have to kill a couple of enemies. Park the car at a gas pump, then plant the bomb, and you're halfway through the mission. Now look for a vehicle to drive to the eastern gas station. This one is on the water, so you can either use a car or another boat. There shouldn't be anybody nearby except for a few enemies on the buildings to the northwest that you can usually just ignore. Park the vehicle and plant the bomb and it's on to the final gas station. For this final gas station, I like to park the car behind this wall before you get there. That way you can hop out and kill the enemies to make sure it's safe before driving up and parking the car. It won't count as a parked car if it gets destroyed or even if an enemy player takes it, so you want to make sure that all of your vehicles stay intact at the gas stations. Once you park the car and plant this final bomb, you're in the home stretch. Now head to the radio tower to your north and climb all the way up the ladders to the top level. Interact with the computer up top and it will detonate all four bombs and complete the mission. And if this is the first tier 5 faction you've completed, then you'll also unlock your third insured weapon slot. If you found this guide helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe for more in-depth guides in the future.